when did you first come to faith? Uh, well, I went through the motions of faith until I was a teenager, and then in high school I met someone uh, through sports who literally embodied God's love, and I had never seen that before. I'd never, you know, the verse that says, we love because he first loved us, loved us. and um, I, I saw that come alive in her, and I wanted, I wanted to live the way she lived, where she loved people regardless, and um, I started to try to model that and so I started to go to church with her and actually opened the Bible for the first time in my entire life uh, on my own. So through her and her family, they kind of adopted me and they became the beginning of my faith journey. Well, what I learned from Missy early on was that you don't have to preach your faith, you can just live your faith and you can be an example for others and that's how you can bring people to Christ. What does PHPC mean to you? Well, Patrick and I had kind of a heartbreaking experience before coming here, and we needed a place where we could um, live out our potential as Christians, where, where we could have Deborah as a judge, and we could have a Samaritan as our neighbor, even though we grew up being told to hate this Samaritan. And, um, you know, Pleasant Hill was that home for us. And I remember Holly Tickle telling me, I said, I can't be heartbroken again. I can't have that in a church. And she said, you won't have that here. How do you connect your faith to everyday life? Um, I would say I look, for, I look for ways to love my neighbor. I mean, Jesus told us the two things that are most important, love your God and love your neighbor. And so my role in this life is to love my neighbor. And I'm, I look for those callings, those opportunities, and I try to say yes to them. And it's not always easy, and sometimes I don't feel like it, but, um, you know, if someone needs eye contact, or if someone needs a hug, or if someone just needs a little help, I just, I look for those, and I'm aware, and I'm watching for them, and then I try to respond to them when they present themselves. You know, Dwayne Barclay, is he still around? But we were on a mission trip in Honduras, and we were just, we're all crammed in this van, and we have to, we spend like six hours, you know, from making our way around before the roads were paved. He's a doctor. He's a physician. And we were talking about how hard it is, faith. Faith is so hard for people that need proof for everything. And I'm one of those, I'm an engineer, and I want to have data and proof before I can make my decisions. And um, even though the Bible, you know, storytelling from dozens of people um, telling the same story, you know, that is proof. But but that's why faith is such a challenge for me. And, and, and he said, but there's some things that just can't be explained. And, um, and then I go back, to, I always go back to Jesus saying, blessed is he who believes without seeing. And, and that's, that's really the, the cornerstone of my faith. It's just, okay, you can, you don't have to explain everything and look, look, how Jesus smiles on those who have faith.